Dr. S. Manasa, Eastern Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Uh, I'm going to deal uh, today's topic uh, the agents of socialization. So we are talking about the gender socialization and uh, agents of the socialization of gender roles. So we have discussed about uh, various groups uh, like um, the social groups, family, institution, and the school, workplace, religion. So today we are going to discuss about the other agent of socialization which is nothing but the mass media so coming to the mass media so we know that what is mass media it can be a television or uh, the the radio or smartphone or the internet uh, which gives the news and uh, uh, the mass media had become one of the most powerful forces that connect the people to the other people so the in olden days the newspaper and the radio uh, uh, very less uh, uh, TVs, televisions were there, but nowadays being uh, uh, more of uh, internet, uh, uh, so people are using the smartphones, are the uh, mobile phones and televisions, uh, and uh, there are more, uh, more and more news channels which will give the uh, information about the world. So. The, the information passage has become very quick and fast and it is getting uh, uh, spread worldwide. So these are all different uh, mass media agents like television and uh, newspaper. It can be news also, internet and this, is a, this has become by most importance of the mass media nowadays. It can be satellite and many of them, camera, radio broadcasting, television, etc. So, because of this mass media can already be considered as a significant agent of the socialization. So, as the uh, route of passage of information is very quick by this uh, mass media, it is uh, of a significant uh, role in uh, socialization of the information. So, Mass media distribute impersonal message to the wide audience via news, papers, radio, television, and the internet. With average persons spending over, they are spending over four hours per day in front of the television. So, like uh, uh, the children have become more and more addicted to the screens, so mobile phones. So, so they spend much time than the the adults and uh, it is uh, hence the media is greatly influencing the society people what they will learn by using this mass media is uh, they learn about the objects of the material culture like uh, new technology can be learned and transportation options so what are the other um, work, the simultaneous things that are happening worldwide, as well as the non material culture, such as uh, what is true, what is belief, what is a myth, and what is true, also uh, is uh, uh, becoming known by this uh, mass media. So, what is the uh, important and what is expected, what is the uh, values of uh, some beliefs, so these are all, all can be known by the, the facts of the mass media. Socialization is a big factor in shaping the people to become who they are. Our socialization uh, relations uh, help us in the forming way our individuals. The social relationships that we have in the society, they are helping us to form the our what is our individuality and a sense of self towards other how to behave with the others and what is your role in the society when you are um, mingled up with the uh, people there in, in and around you so socialization is a process where by we learn and internalize the values beliefs and the norms of the culture and so doing develop a sense of 
it's uh, so it is like um, we learn and learn we internalize we will uh, self analyze ourselves uh, and we will uh, know uh, different beliefs of the traditions the norms of the our culture what is they as we are as we uh, inculcated or interacted with the people in and around you in the society so we are developing what we are and how we have to be in the society and uh, uh, the way we interact with the other people technology had increased the spread of uh, mass media uh, such uh, and people spend the most of their time in touch with the world through the different forms of the mass media sometimes uh, time allotted to the other agents of socialization is even sacrificed just to give the time to the usage of uh, mass media so as nowadays the um, the electronics have become more important parcel of our life we are spending much and much time with the the mass media only the electronics only so from where the even the small news is getting viral and it is spread all over the world and uh, within no time uh, some news is very uh, popularized or some person having uh, some news are very much uh, spreaded around the world so television shows movies today dominate culture as the kind of life they portray easily dictate what will be the reality so one of the uh, most important part of the mass media is uh, television sh- television so movies also is is the one of the part of the mass media which dominate the culture as the kind of life they portray easily the dictate what will be the reality the number of people who depend on what they watch in the television hear from the radio or read from the internet is increasing rapidly because of the modern advancements on easy availability of the easy availability of electronics so nowadays without any electronic good no work is being carried out so the usage of electronic goods such as smartphones and televisions etc etc are becoming more and more even small children is handing their own mobile phones and they spend much and much time uh, taking from a housewife or the uh, the old man uh, to the young children all people are being connected to the world through the electronic media that is nothing but the for example as by mobile phones so nowadays uh, on and average 90% of the people having the mobile phones though, so they know what is happening in and around the world by either by the news or by the uh, the internet uh, which connects the people uh, through one and other so more time is given to the mass media uh, greater proportions of the time is dedicated to the entertainment and nowadays so to keep the people entertained uh, means that uh, the form of mass media is successful in gathering supporters hence uh, profit also is more in case of uh, mass media so it is connecting the people of uh, all the parts of the world so there are so many things uh, like entertainment and of information and of uh, the annoying each other and you talking there are some uh, forms where one can have the connection with the other so even small things are uh, nowadays carried out by online so education is also being converted to the 
access with the internet so it's becoming like a part and parcel of our lifestyle so without any electronic media or the mass media nowadays it is very hard to survive so mass media after all has a also a business side and it is having high profit it is a most most and more used part of the social agent since mass media had already developed into a powerful and influential agent it was it serves as a powerful social agent social agent agent and it has really become a large influence of war of who we become so it has become like a more it is a more influencer to us like uh, with which we are getting influence and uh, trying to be become what we are by seeing the uh, by spending much time with the mass media there are many agents of socialization such as our families friends we gain and the institution we belong to so socialization of Uh, other groups such as families, friends, and institutions. Among the ah, uh, apart from these, uh, the mass media connects uh, many people, and they become friends of the groups, and then uh, along meeting each other, having the uh, uh, like uh, it is connecting everyone. It is like uh, connecting all over the world. So it is a fact that. Uh, Role of the mass media as agents of socialization has been both strengthened and changed by the modernization of the world. So, as the world is becoming modernized, it has a, a deepened influence. So, it the part of social media or the mass media is. A, strengthened so it is uh, like uh, the main main cause and the most important part of the um the uh, part of the media which is connecting the people uh, to each other and uh, everything everywhere what is happening is uh, known in the through mass media then coming to the other uh, agents of the Uh, mass me um, socialization is uh, peer groups. So coming to the other agents of the socialization, which is nothing but the peer groups. So, so peer groups are nothing but uh, there people of similar age. The group is made up of a people who are similar in age and uh, social status and who shares of uh, Interests of their own means having same interests. So peer group is made up of people who are similar in age and social status and having of same interests. Peer group in socialization begins in the earliest years, such as when kids on a playground teach younger children the norms about taking turns. Rule of a game and how to shoot a basket. So it is like a, when you take a kid to the garden, then they become friends and teach that uh, you have to do this. Uh, if the someone is elder than this uh, child, they teach uh, the other one to how to do, how to not to do, what to do. So they the actual group is getting started. So it's the way. Uh, People get connected in one of the uh, agents in peer group, so they ta- talk to each other, try to become their friends, and uh, try to share as they um, day by day as they become more and more interacted. So as children grow into teenagers, this process continues, and uh, they try to share more and more information or the news or the The feelings with the one and other rather than spending with the other. So at the time of teenage, people having some ideas or the problems, they try to share with the other person having uh, of same interest or who are in a similar 
स्टेटस आर दे हैविंग दी अदर हु कैन लिसन और अदर हु कैन गिव दी सम सॉल्यूशन टू द सो इट इज दैट दैट इज अ पीर रूप वेयर पीपल ट्राई टू इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर सो एडिशनली पीर रूप प्रोवाइड देयर ओन अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर सोशलाइजेशन सिंस kids usually engage in different types of activities uh, with their peers than they do with their families yes absolutely peer group provide uh, opportunities for the socialization so it start from where when from the kids so when they start going out making new new friends and they talk to each other the one having a uh, similar um, likeliness or uh, they having interest in the same activities will try to become friends and uh, they make as a group and try to go as a group and uh, play as a group so they try to share the uh, feelings of each other and uh, uh, their interest they will try to uh, share so one and other uh, they will uh, try to encourage other and try to increase their capability so it is uh, Uh, in a positive manner, it is uh, uh, having peer group is uh, very good for uh, uh, kid or uh, the person to develop uh, and to share their problems or the interest. So by this way, we can have like if we have some interest on something that can be um, told outside. Some students or uh, uh, some kids cannot share with their family, but still can have the interaction with the friends or the persons in the peer group so they have the good communications in the peer rather than the family members peer groups so provide adolescence first major socialization experience outside the realm of their family interestingly studies have shown that although friendship rank higher adolescent peer this is the balancing by the Financial influence. So they they uh, the P groups provide first to socialization experience outside other than family. The P group is the um, first and foremost to uh, the new experience other than family. When they get exposed to the society, they try to make uh, friends with of same age or same interest, uh, and then interestingly. It has shown that the the friendship rank high adolescence period is uh, and which is balanced by the financial uh, influence. Peer groups are important to the adolescents in a new way as they begin to develop the identity separate from their parents and exert uh, independent. So there uh, these peer groups are very important. Uh, in we in a way where a people means a kid try to develop his own identity other than what family is seeing at home and so um like uh, the the we parents will try to think his capability is so and so but when the person when the kid is trying to have the interaction with another his other skills or his own identity can come out and uh, He can be what he is uh, because being parents, we look at one way and we want to be in that way itself. But uh, when he has some friends or with whom he can share his uh, talents, inner talents can come out and can be encouraged, uh, and that can be supported by the family. So family comes to know um, the talents of the kids. Uh, Some of the diamonds on the face are uh, by peer groups only. So it has become more and more the positive uh, way of the uh, agent. It is a positive agent which uh, makes a person to have his own um, um, quality, means his own independent and his own nature. So it will exert uh, the independence to the. Person or the kid. Additionally, peer groups provide their own opportunities for socialization. <coughs> Since kids usually engage in different types of activities with their peers, 
than they do with their families. Yes, the PE groups uh, they provide opportunities or the positive environment, uh, and then uh, kids try to engage with them than the families and they try to expose their activities or the talents or the uh, the new uh, in uh, in the uh, means, uh, hidden talents uh, with the the PE group only. So rather than they spend with the family, they try to spend. Uh, much and much uh, uh, time with the peer group and try to share more and more things with them because as they are of uh, same age group or same mentality some people some kids may not be able to share their problems or their talents with their parents uh, in a uh, uh, fear that they may or may not accept or in a fear that uh, they won't listen to us or uh, they have fear that uh, i cannot say to my parent but they can be shared in the a group with the people of same interest or the friends where they are encouraged and maybe known to the society or their parents come to know afterwards so it is becoming a um, a good and positive platform where which cannot be um, um, seen by the parents even can be uh, taken out from the peer groups. So peer groups provide adolescents first major socialization experience outside the realm of family. So peer group provide the first major socialization experience outside the family. Other outside the family that is other than the family it is the first exposure platform. So interestingly, studies have shown that. Uh, Friendship rank in adolescent priorities. Uh, this is balanced by the parental influence. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.